Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. So, family, when uh, as I continue, you know, to mature and to grow, you know, spiritually, uh, when I was younger, uh, you know, before, you know, I, I started that, you know, process, you know, I, I thought we were all separate. I didn't realize, you know, that we were all one. And, you know, and, and a lot of the teachings, you know, uh, kind of reinforced, you know, the, the make me believe that we were all separate until I cultivated that personal relationship with God. And, and I, you know, I experienced, you know, omnipresence, omnipresence, the oneness of us all. You know, we're all one spiritually, you know, but, but you know, here in a physical form, you know, it seems like we're all separate. But actually, we're all connected. You know, we're all connected. You are, we're all one. We're all one in the body of God. And when you have a person with God, God will, will help you understand, you know, higher perspective, higher, higher things, you know, and uh, this is this verse here. You know, when I read it, you know, when I was younger, uh, you know, it, it didn't make sense. But it makes sense now, so, you know, because I can see it from a higher perspective. When I'm looking at things from my ego, that, that lower uh, perspective, you know, that lower vibration, you know, it does seem like we're all separate, you know, and, and it's a doggy dog world. But when you when you uh, when you uh, have that personal with God, God will will raise your perspective. He will take you to a higher a, a higher uh, uh, perspective. He'll take you higher so you can see things from a higher perspective. And you can see the more of the truth of things, and and you know when God you know uh, opened my eyes and I could see things you know from that that higher perspective, and, and experience you know from that higher perspective we're all one, and you know now that this now these verses make sense it makes more sense but it didn't before and this is uh this is Matthew five uh, thirty eight forty eight um uh, ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, return to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that ask thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for, the, for them which spitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? If ye salute your brethren only, what do more than others? Do not even the publicans do so. But ye therefore, but ye therefore, I mean, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So, you know, like I say, this didn't make a lot of sense to me when I was younger and, and, and you know, uh, less mature spiritually. Uh, because, uh, you know, I was seeing things from, from my ego and, and, and I wasn't seeing it from a higher uh, point of view. But, you know, when you have a, a relationship with God, uh, it makes sense, you know, because we're all one in the body of God. So if I'm hurting someone else, I'm hurting me. If I love someone else, I'm loving me. You know, God will, and also too, God will let you know when it's time to fight and when it's time to, to let things go. Because that's one thing Harold told me. He said, you don't have to fight every fight. You don't have to fight every battle. You know, pick and choose which ones you're going to fight. And, and Holy Spirit and God will help you. You know, we got that eternal guidance system inside of us, and that's the Holy Spirit. And he will let us know 
when we need to fight and when we don't need to fight. Because when we when God tell us to fight, uh, we we have Holy Spirit power, and you know we're in line with God's will, so we're fighting for God. And and but when God tell us not to fight, you know He's gonna take care of it. So either way, we're covered, you know. But that ego and that mind gets in the way. Well, I'm not gonna let that person get away with this. I'm not gonna let them say that about. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. God's got it covered, and God can do a much better job fighting for us than we can. Praise God. This is the synopsis. When we love our enemies, we can be sure that we are making progress in recovery. Loving our enemy does not mean that we have to like them, but it does mean we must forgive them and desire what is best for them. If we harbor anger and bitterness towards others, we hurt only ourselves. Such emotions keep us from making progress in recovery. God loves us while we were still his enemies. He... he he loves us even though we are far from perfect. Recovery, not perfection, it is developing the ability to follow God and shape our decisions and actions according to his will for us. So, you know, we keep following God. God will let us know, you know, what we need to do when we need to do it. And like I say, we don't have to fight every fight. God will let us know when we need to fight. And when God let us know we need to fight, we got the backing. We got that we got that backing of God. We got that backing of that power that nothing can overcome. So, you know, let God lead and guide you. You'll never go wrong. But love all, you know, because we're all one in the body of God. If I'm hating you, I'm hating me. If I love you, I'm loving me. So let's love, you know, because when we all love, you know, we, we all prosper. But when we hate, we, we, we all don't prosper. So let love reign. But anyway, that's all I have today, family. Let love reign in your life. I love you. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Bye.